So in the last video, I talked about the matrix transfer method. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the transmission matrix, uh, often written as D, or D12 for the transmission matrix from layers 1 to 2, and how it's, how it's derived, how we use it. Uh, all the transmission matrix is, is it's saying, well, I don't know anything about the structure that this interface is in, but I know that we've got some refractive index N0 and some refractive index N1. And I know that we've got some rightward traveling wave and some leftward traveling wave on each side of this interface. So some rightward traveling wave and some leftward traveling wave. And when I talk about at the interface, I mean really at the interface. So this is at uh, zero minus and this is at zero plus. Uh, so they're right, right next to the interface. And let's call this uh, zero. Let's give these a subscript zero and a subscript one. Uh, so that we we don't lose track of anything, and so we want a we want a matrix relationship. Uh, we want a matrix relationship between E zero R and E zero L is equal to some D zero one. Uh, so our matrix, uh, our transmission matrix D zero one uh, times E one R and E one L, and so. All we have to do are apply Fresnel's or Fresnel's equations uh, at an interface. So we know that um, the the easiest way to do that, in my view, is to look at these outward going waves. Uh, so what is E one R? Uh, oh, oh wow, that's that was a that was a bit of a notational mistake. Uh, so what is E one R in terms of the other other electric fields? Well, uh, we know that it's the transmitted part. Uh, of E0 R, so it's T01 times E0 R, and it's also, uh, we also need to account for the reflection of this wave, E1, uh, so plus the reflection R10 of E1 L. Okay, and we also need to ask what's the outward going wave uh, value, so what's E0 L? Um, or the outward going wave on the left hand side of this interface, well, we just do the same exact thing. Uh, it's partly due to reflection from this inward, uh, from this uh, inward traveling wave. So R01, well, that's not an R, um, R01 times E0 traveling to the right. And we also need to worry about the transmitted value. So the transmitted value T10 times E1 traveling to the left. And that's great. This looks like we have the matrix relationship that we want. But you notice if we were just to directly take these as the coefficients of our matrix, uh, we'd see that we'd have E1R and E0L, but we want this to be E0R. So really, we have to rearrange these equations uh, so that we have them in terms of E0R and E0L. And when we do that, you'll see that the actual coefficients coefficients for the matrix can be written like uh, 1 over t01, so just factoring out a 1 over t01, times 1, r01, r01, 1. Really simple. Uh, so that is our, this is our transmission matrix. And uh, if you actually carry out the math, something, you'll notice something kind of interesting. Uh, this 1 is actually simplified from r01, r10, or uh, T01, T10 minus R01, R10. And you can use the relationship between the transmission uh, coefficients and the reflection coefficients to see that this simplifies to one. Now, the really cool thing about this form of the matrix, uh, of the transmission matrix, is this works for S and P polarizations. So if we just put in the P polarization, RP and the P polarization transmission coefficients TP, then we'll get the right answer. Or if we use RS or TS, we'll get the right answer. So the the other really cool thing about this matrix transfer method is it's independent of whether you want to use S or P polarizations. And oh, sorry, these are uh, this matrix is multiplied by uh, E1R, E1L. And so that's, this is the answer. This is our transmission matrix. Um, this has all the information, or I guess I should say, this is our transmission matrix. 
this has all the information that will let us uh, leapfrog from one pr from over the interfaces. So from one set of electric fields to another set of electric fields. And so the next video, I'll talk about the propagation matrix P uh, and how we get that. But uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them down below. Uh, if you like the video, please consider liking it or subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.